when my teacher was teaching, I, I was listening in, intuitively because uh, I'm living in a very difficult generation. I'm not only talking about uh, the, the difficulty is not about economic difficulty and all that. We're living in a time where um, we're living in a prayerless generation, a heartless generation. We are living in a lawless generation. We are living in a loveless generation. We're living in a time where brother does not genuinely care about brother. We preach love, but we exhibit hate. You know, we live in a time where uh, hypocrisy has emerged from the pulpit. You know, so I thought that uh, Prophet Brian, it was, it was an oxymoron. It was, it was a mistake for, to put you know, behind my father because after all the encouragement now, I don't even know what to say again. You, you know, the prophetic nature of Pastor Frank, I, I don't know what to say again. But the, the, we live in the times where um, we are living in that also time where we are having an invigorated breed of people coming up. It's, it's, an, it's a prophetic emergence. We're living in a prophetic emergence. Um, when I look at uh, um, Dr. Frank, how he put it, he's been married for 40 years and uh, doing ministry in that articulation, ladies and gentlemen, that is a statement. You know, um, I see most of the patriarchs and the matriarchs of this land all clock 60 years and above. You know, we see in 60 years and about 65, 62, 61, 63, and all that. That alone is a statement. That alone is a statement. It's a statement that in the next 40 years, all the big names that we hear now will not be there. Oh, maybe let me start it in a nice way. In the next 100 years, none of us will be here. Oh, yeah. There's no two ways about that. In the next 100 years, men find the power here. Opa, if I age in a car hundred, how now wabufa. Hallelujah. So, in the next forty years, sixty percent of the puppets in this nation will be replaced. That should be concerning to us. Therefore, Pastor Brian, all these lovely people are not people we can joke with. These are going to be the people that are going to be sitting in the authority in the city gates. The quality of people we produce determine the quality of life. Hey, I'm in Gaza, I'm in Chino. A truck is here. We're here. Lufutebri, we're here. Tia! Hallelujah. So the days of looking at physique, Paul created you to make a relational decision will be a frivolous and a loose decision because the physique of a woman or a man will not determine the quality they produce. Therefore, as I stand here right now, God is raising people, not only in ministry. I mean, when I look at the Honorable Minister of Information, you know, Honorable Koyo Oponkroma was not my minister only seven years ago. Only seven years ago. Fifteen years ago, there was no social media. 20 years ago, there was nothing like streaming and people watching around the world. 25 years ago, there was nobody like Mark Zuckerberg. The people that are controlling the world right now in terms of business, infrastructure, in terms of finance and all stuff like that in the corporate market and in the job place. Ladies and gentlemen, 25 years ago, the, the game was not like what it is right now. There is a movement. There is an emergence. God is raising new masters. 
new master. In the political cloud, four years to eight years, new masters emerge. In lifestyle and uh, in trends, you know, we have from 11 years to 16 years, there is a new trend. And then it goes into new masters. When we're raising, raising new masters, an interface, 18 years to 25 years to 28 years, 29 years, we see totally in total interface changes. As I'm speaking to you right now, new musicians coming up. In the secular front, in the gospel fraternity, we are seeing new masters coming up in entrepreneurship, in business, and all stuff like that. They are coming up. In this university, you are seeing new masters. They are emerging. They are still, you know, be careful the way you treat each other because you never know who is going to open the next door for you because it doesn't take long for the doors to, to, to for the tables to turn. So be careful the way you may have the privilege now and lose it tomorrow. So everybody in this place, I will want to, you know, uh, there, there, I have always compared two particular uh, uh, proverbs. The first one is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse number 14. The Bible said, where there is no counsel, the people fall. Proverbs chapter 29, verse number 18, the Bible said, where there is no vision, the people perish. But the first one shakes me a lot. Where there is no counsel, the, fee, the people fall. God doesn't have a problem lifting you up and giving you an opportunity. You know, you are the dawn of the day, you carry everything, you are, you, you've emerged, you are trending, you are doing amazing things, you have become the next billionaire, the, all that kind of, The Lord does not have a problem blessing people. You know, the doors are going to always open. Great men of God are going to emerge. New prophets are going to come. New leaders are going to emerge. New businesses are going to emerge. You know, if I stand here and I say, I mentioned a, a profound, astute, outstanding, celebrated businessman like B. A. Mensa. Most of you will not even know him because he is not the name of now. But there is a young man and a young woman sitting here right now who is going to be the next big name. So I am not going to hallelujahize what we're doing tonight because there are so many people who will not, who are watching us right now who will not respond to hallelujah but they need the content of the message therefore we cannot let them loose we cannot cut them loose onyami doesn't have problem lifting people the problem is that the people when they are raised elevated they do not know how to take care of themselves. Therefore, it doesn't take long for them to lose it. Tell me anybody that has been celebrated, still trending for 40 years in any sphere. Music. Sometimes when I'm speaking like this, it brings emotions because I, it reminds me of some very beautiful people. Like our sister, you know, uh, uh, my, my favorite actress, Susie Williams. May the Lord bless her soul. Like our sister, Ebony. It brings me emotions when I, I, I remind people, it reminds me of people like Terry Bonchaka. So when I see the, the, the candidates of today and how they behave themselves, boys, he started to be in the moment here. Boys, he started to move. Now, because I should moment here. I feel almost at a bottom one. Now, for a solution. And IS, I thank God for IS. IS is, is like it's like seven a course meal. You know, different speakers, they have different, you know, methodologies, phenomenologies. They come in different aspects. I like the ladies that came in the morning, amazing people. They, they, how they articulated it and all that. In the evening, they toned down very maturely from the honorable minister to my father and all stuff like that. I feel now you're the Zungu boys, a big gum near to turn it by heart by heart. You know, you know, put it in a nice way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because, 
the, when, when we're talking about these things, the, the most important thing should not be the glamour. We should be able to watch the snares that can entangle you, that can destroy you, the five minutes pleasure that can deny you a whole future. We should be able to give attention. Can you saw your show? Oh, saw your show. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so people will emerge. They will be great. They will have big names. But there are so... Adam, this is the garden. It's yours. Use it. You know everything. You have access to everything. But your warning. It shocks me. Something... You are a mighty man. You will judge Israel. A, B, C, D. But, and person soon will go to soon or he. She in and Sardinia and Kuan Nona, a dear dear and Namo and Motiri home. Some send in a corner dear cotton and you in them. And I'm, I'm standing here. It shocks me that all the things that the Lord warned Samson, don't do it. That is what he did. All the people the Lord warned in the Bible, Saul, go kill Amalek. Every, anybody you meet, destroy. Don't bring anything here. I don't need man, mankind or livestock. So now we are here. We are here. We are here. We are the prophet went and said, What didn't quasia some? Then I'm sure I didn't quasia some to make you and some money, you know. I didn't want you were born a coconut and no one. Anyway, I know you will be elevated, but may I leave you with five warnings prophetic warnings. Number one, forgetfulness. She now you don't feel somebody raised you up never forget that person somebody opened doors for you never forget those people and this generation is a forgetful generation deuteronomy chapter number eight and verse number when you got you, you get to verse number 11 as a matter of fact, from verse number 10, I will pick up from verse 10. The, the Bible said, and when you have come into the land which the Lord your God, and when you are eating and you are, you are full, thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the land he has given you. Verse number 11, interesting verse. He said in verse number 11, he said, thou shalt not forget the Lord. Beware. Beware. There are people that are your helpers. In this life, there are five different kinds of helpers that comes in different categories. Yeah, facilitating helpers, prophetic helpers, destiny helpers, appointed helpers, you know, and so on. These helpers, they come in different spheres of your life. Some for a reason, some for a season, and some for a lifetime. I will say it again. Some for the people that comes into your life, they will all not stay in your life until the end. Some for a reason, some for a season, some for a lifetime. All these people must be appreciated on different levels in which they came. And Ladies and gentlemen, this is how it operates. Appreciate everybody, including your haters and your enemies. They all play the role. They all play the role. I mean, when the honorable minister was speaking and I was listening attentively, there were, there were places and at points that opposition was kicked up by heaven. Those people, you need to learn lessons from them and appreciate them. Am I with them through what that? So will be in the tree of ticket will be and I saw one Sadia Dianisi a brand new one. We hear them move. Will be wow. Am I really feeling good? That is the, your number one prophetic warning. Number two, complacency. Tiri mo de. Babu mu fwe ba from tiri mo de na di wa mo hear from. The Bible said in the year where, at the time where kings go to war, David was on his balcony. 
Na na wo jidi ya waba koni abra ye kon. Diya na wo jidi ba koni. O defo. When I listen to the phrases of the scriptures and I go, I'm not going to be too the body. Then I say, is this, is, is the altar recollecting Bible? This is interesting. David is asking the question, whose wife is this? Nana, Wabura say, you're next to your neighbor. You are asking whose wife is this? Huh? There are some very fine bankers that were in this country. I learned a lot of the lessons that collapsed, the 40 banks that collapsed in this country. I learned a lot of lessons from those people. Hey, and son of Banky, they will put parties, pull side. Nina! Yam fanyasam. Sakra man kitten kitten, the little foxes. They destroy the bar. It depends on me and it da. Then you realize that strange things will begin to happen. The moment we begin to cross the lines, I'm telling you, Timudano Baya. Will be told and the people and all stuff like that. If you put two goose, you are not to be able to do it. If you have a secret, you will be able to do it. 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 Nanka sorry ni nyan ye ye so for Gina Puna no help welcome you welcome us you know traffic lights church Lord bless you thank you for choosing us you know till you mude till you mude in the papa be boy na na abafu eni so I feel wo ba you kiti kiti oni ema di 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 all that kind of thing and all that and 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 I'm I'm talking to the wise only I'm talking to the wise only na eni ema ni bofe wo till you mua I feel di di chia kura wo uno. When things are going wrong, you don't even see it. I feel we have to sit here and look at it. We have to sit here and look at it. You know, when when things like that begin to, when people begin to talk like that, you realize that they are sitting on the head of a needle. The complacency have brought a lot of people down. I see people that are doing very well in the music industry and all that. The moment they begin to fly, fly first class. But first class was just to help you and facilitate you. And may I say to you, you know, it does not really mean anything. You know, when you have all the courtesies and the protocols, don't let it go here. Am I I have for my job that Number three, prophetic warning. Extravagance. Akesism. This generation is sick of akesism. The moment we see little elevation, then extravagance. I drive a Bentley. I drive a Rosa. I drive a Ferrari, a Maserati, a Bugatti. I drive an Aston Martin. I drive a this. I drive a that. I drive a, you know, Range Rover autobiography. You know, it's custom made. We drew one. <laughs> Jesus was so simple. To the point that we don't even articulate a title to him. Akasisam has ripped the generation of relevance and significance. Akasisam. I can see some bibika krebi ebaye, and this is why everybody is trying to make a false impression.
Yeah, you know, you are in a flight going to Kumasi from the domestic departure lounge, and then you take a picture in a, you know, and say your boy is en route to Dusseldorf. Let me name say Kumasi Dusseldorf. Now I didn't know that there is Dusseldorf. You know, the moment a system, a system comes, it takes your attention from the most important things, and then it shifted to trivial, minuscule, and microcosm things. Thomas no more table of four. Oba ko penny with dictionary. Hallelujah. So let me recap to everybody. Forgetfulness, never forget. Number two, complacency. Number three, extravagance. You free will lie for me. Hallelujah. Number four, covetousness. Emma, when you marry, will be at here. This generation is sick of anybody. The person comes, you know, wearing something nice. We want it at all cost. Somebody is 50 years old, celebrating his birthday, her birthday. They celebrate. There are landmarks. 40 is a landmark. 50 is a landmark. 60, 70, and so on. When you're 35, you want to celebrate your birthday like somebody that is 50. So, Upesa, we yet. No, I call highway, no highway, your rear party, no, I feel your dying work. You know, like what we're doing right now, there are young men who feel like you just started this. And they feel that this is just a simple thing to, oh, yeah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. And all that kind of thing. Because this is one of the reasons why so many people are cheating in relationships. Any bread, any bread, any bread. Where do you say war when I'm going to pass work into? Any brain, any pain, any blood, dear. Too much covetousness. And let me finish with the last one. This one it will be a bomb. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. The Bible said in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse number 1, very interesting verse of scripture. The Bible said, death flies causes the oil of apothecary or the ointment of apothecary to stink and send for the stinking savor. Put the scripture there, possibly maybe let us follow you. And in this particular, the continuation, which is the main thing, maybe I will pick it in this version and then the Bible said, so do it a little fully him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. Can you put this in maybe GMT or NLT and maybe let me read this particular thing, verse number one only, just verse number one, verse number one only. The Bible uh, said, yes, death flies causes a bottle of perfume to stink. So, so a little foolishness spoils great wisdom and honor. Three Babylon is in one sinner, Fruma would do for any drug, a bone, a pro, a Jimmy, Jimmy, a crabby, a drug, a drug, Chenyan Sanya Nunyam. Another version of the three Bible no sing kwasia sam kakra. And so I went to the account dictionary, the account kasasuo, and then I met, I was interchangeably looking at the word jimin in kwasia sam. And then I met a greater word, agridin chisem. And then I was looking at the, at the word that it didn't cheer, what it meant. And then the three dictionary said, didn't cheer nuk and kwasia funa penny. 
any juju in tree. God is lifting you up. But who did Jimmy Kakrebi? Be fremu. And when you're in your media man, you have to be from. I saw young men emerging in our nation, businesses doing amazing. Who did Jimmy Kakrebi? Sleeping with women on your table, in the toilets, in your cars, outside, sleeping with girls when your wife is at home, weeping and and bleeding. And how you doing? How you doing? What do you have any problem? Me better chin by heart by heart. Me we are number four. We are my baby. Me say Pastor Brown, we invite me be into me a crowd. Me new yo. Me found me found. Till you make it can. Yeah. Me found you a dear crowd. Me a me baby. You make it can by heart. We the can of prayer come. What next time? You boy I S P O B K I. You boy I S P O B K I. I na do it. Me me we. Till you need. Huh? Me say. Obi yere eye jimi okone ho eye jimi obi kunu eye jimi sa obe kone ho jimi e kakre bi be di it will strip you of all the nwenyam minima di for who came up they were too gifted me say you know these days when I see in America somebody is prophesying they call somebody's name and they call the house number and America is amazed oh come on Ghana was too blessed with that. We were too honored with that. Prophets who can mention your grandmother's graveyard. They can call and mention, you know, prophetic stuff in 1843. 1840, they can mention stuff. You will be mesmerized. But, Jimmy Kakrebi. Yasei no Sirano. Yasei no. Now what we have is contaminated oil. And I pay for any energy I'm sorry them. Me papa mo ako brem so that you dare not come to church when you were a witch. Now you have witches with us. So for preaching I oye to manu no. So for to me kasa that that girl here came here to tempt me. You dare not come even to, even to the compound when Francis Kwesia Mwako or Auntie Grace Edumfa is ministry or, you know, when Idahosa is ministry. You dare not! Where is that anointing? Jimie Kakrebi! Kakrebi, it is so he said. And I'm telling these boys, the Lord says, so I see. And it goes in and all that kind of. But it is so. 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 This is the reason why, ladies and gentlemen, we die like dogs and goats in this generation. My papa, my father, say, was 100 years old. 100 years old. The night I went before he died, he looked at me and said, Kofi, you know, me person me da kakra. I'm saying, who person who can be here now? I said, you know, me shira mo dada. And said things that didn't make sense until he went. Then we came to a cognizant understanding of it. And then there will be to me the 100 years. I met a month ago with me kuro muko etia, a woman that is 125 years old. 27 years in the front can kind of be see as one of them as a Yamia to and suffering. You was what we are the audio yadi. Yamis by the amano, you be over drown now over Pamana. 27 years, oh my, I do funk and cow because you move at the you move at the above front me cast. A life well lived. A life well lived. A life well celebrated. A life well lived. A life well celebrated. 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 A life well 
Asia wo wudi obi kuna chi onche obi yiri wudi na chi onche modie muntie entie enche onche adi ya bi won ma ni bi ko meye ni jo mo bebi onobo minister ka sanna wan nyinyame amfrim me papa nso sa you cannot eliminate god and paint a success a relevant and a significant picture it's not impossible. It's not possible. Everybody here should be able to know. The one more currency soon and say, "Ye din shira ne bobra." If the hand of the Lord is on you, min found ye bon sambe ye mane nompo. The hand of the Lord will cause you to emerge. But se in shire ni wo swa se wo tihei and you were trying to tongue as one to know kwa kwa de bi to two akodi ye medi o ma ame e komo de o ma ame na uti mi chi fa so e tue piye a o ma ame e nkan o papa e mwa sa mo nkan o na wati mi akwa sha o boy fiye akwa ya ben kwa in kontomre we 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 e dia shifri jim abranti ye yin ye re ma wo mi yi wa ya si adon kwa wo to ya Highly spiritual. I told you the mind of God. And what you will like others to do unto you. Do likewise unto them. Adia ye di ye wen ye wo de and find you be sister. Would you be boy? Would be be jiwo di. Now would be be jiwo di ya ma would be sumoja. I'm serious. I have for me drop. Me say I am making me cry. Man, I'm catching up. Ah yes, it is not only sweet. It is sweet and sour. Yeah, kenum. Ahaka kra, ahaka kra. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. And when you man here, yeah. And so everybody in this place, shayi and one fej me ka krabi ama me flower nu nyam ni unyansem. I am done. There are this. I mean, if the Bible can tell you that a little foolishness can destroy wisdom and can destroy honor, ah, ani achi unufi. A dear be on why it will never be a blessing when it comes out of your mouth. The generation where people will come, you know, you want penny for me. Say, Papa Sophon, no mammy got some joke. The days of Pentecost, Sophon, Apostolic, CAC, their preachers will grow very old. It will drink Papa Sophon, will be quite a little bit of a mission. We have colleagues that died at 37, 40. 47. Really? Look at the patriarchs of these nations. Ghana, your papa no maso from penny four. Ubi e tremundi e woho. We hunu ne nanan umwenim. Na many colleagues. 40 years. We konu wa deda na dada ke mu. Shene ni muase. Jack na ajiri ya. Inia sempa. Adwin fi. We brought, we, we brought contamination to the altar of God. And until we purge ourselves, until we purge ourselves, we are living in deception. I'm telling you the word of God. If we need that ancient oil and glory, we ought to purge ourselves. To be honest with ourselves, repent. Genuinely repentance. Just say you're back to that place. You say hey, you're normal. I mean, I see Isaiah chapter 5, verse number 20. We call evil good and good evil. We call sweet bitter and bitter sweet. We call justice injustice and injustice justice. That is where we are. So what I'm doing right now, a new mom is abnormal. And abnormal new mom is normal. That is the generation. In which we, so I thank God for Prophet Brian. Thank you for bringing ideas to us. This possibly might be the seed that God is looking for for the next move. Adia when you see it, you see Yawadi and Che, 
it looks like we have become like a sterile generation. We were in there, we'll be three months of Smejano. As I'm speaking to you right now, there is a marriage right now that we're dealing with. The marriage lasted for two weeks. Two weeks. This I'm a Sadie and a goo, no? Sister, I'm a mean to be married. It's our day. Papa wants to know this guy has sex too much. I'm sad day. Was our brand here now? Do you have a microphone? Now, Mr. Nadine, any genius says, I'm afraid to go free over. And now, so there be six rounds a night by seven days a week. Now, Mr. Any a war bread and non quadia war bread. Two weeks. That's a white dream. I would go. Yeah, I dream in ya. I dream in ya. I dream in ya. We go in there with abuse, abuse, abuse. Kaso fo peni, we kunu so afre us. As soon as you brother, no brother, no the nzato so we shirau, no aye okama. Now we have people. One of the things that we have lost, Papa, is proper, correct exegesis. We've lost that. The correct, appropriate interpretation of the scriptures. We've lost that. In some hunu be ani ekeka, hunu be be free. It has no theological basis and biblical contents. And on me and this is why you know the body is so divided, so divided. We know all kinds of frivolous and loose teachings, false teachings coming into the house of God. We have lost the fear of God that the the pulpit is an epicenter of where God has placed his holy name. Therefore, you can't sleep with girls and still come and stand on this altar. You can't do that. Because we are so when you're beyond in and jumping up, so we suffer. When you're beyond in and jumping up, and you say, I'm going to and we so suffer. And so our worship is loose. And you know who know these young boys they can sing powerfully, no character. I tell Francis all the time, Ebony was also gifted. Ebony voice, you know, is far better than most of your gospel musicians. From the young lady, she was enormously gifted. Now, the point is this the fact that you can perform, never forget that Lucifer is also a performer. It can't so much now. Time is ticking on your heads. Your finger miss up for the Christmas near Guru and home. And I'm telling you, this is one of the reasons why even our marriages don't last, relationships don't last. You know, a young lady of almost like 23, she's already a divorcee. What generation is this? Which one is this? Ah, yes. Now, this particular night possibly will be a reflective night therapeutic night sit down and reflect this is the time to reflect and repent this is the time to come back to your first love this is a night to come to that place yeah because now we shall all appear before the judgment seat of christ all of us don't forget that one as i'm standing here right now god will judge me oh i know that god will judge me what do you mean you so obey way new man the motives that drives it i am done but before i go out right now i'm telling you and this is the reason why now we don't sing of you know the gospel gospel music must be you know the gospel preached in songs you know, the other day my heart was broken when the people were discussing and said uh, in the gospel music industry, you can't industrialize the gospel. You cannot industrialize the gospel. It is not an industry. It is a ministry. Come back to your first love. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, the blessing of the Lord is not on us. Apostle General Sam Grant, the Lord bless you. Yesterday, last week, at the Shepherd's Summit, I watched you, you know, you ministered too powerfully all the two days. 
Apostle General asks a question. If this generation is the ones we are about to hand over our legacy to, he said then this is a loose, frivolous, mediocre generation. The standard we have set is too low. Whilst the fathers and the matriarchs have set too high a standard. Now character is gone. Character is gone. We are making we are like. What do you And therefore, the real gospel we are afraid to preach it. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank God for granting me this privilege and opportunity on IS Prophet Brian's altar. And I want to ask everybody, wherever you are sitting watching us tonight, please take a moment and reflect on your life and repent. Because you may not have this privilege again. You may not have this privilege again. Let's make it right with God. All the things that the speakers are talking about. Purpose, vision, concepts, ideas, synopsis. All these lovely things are great. But it is vain if the builder does not build the house. It is vain if the builder does not they that build they will build it but it will be in vain. So all the concepts will come together only with the fear of the Lord. I quote two scriptures and then I'm done. Proverbs chapter number 9 verse number 10 the Bible said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs chapter 1 verse number 7 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Isaiah chapter 33 verse number 6. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of our time. Strength of knowledge and the fear of God will be a treasure. Stand